guys welcome back to my channel for those of you that are new or that do not know my name is Brittany on Instagram I also go by sincerely Brittany if you are new to my channel thank you for coming and if you are returning thank you for the continued support um, today I will be doing part two of my bottle girl bartender series this one is going to be on the pros of cons and cons well my experience and my pros and cons of working as a bottle girl slash bartender first and foremost before we get into this video you guys i really do want to apologize my goal was to make these videos every week and y'all my life the last three weeks has been crazy people have been getting on my nerves i've been a little bit busier i started back in school and i almost dropped out every day that i've been in school so far so pray for me but you guys i am back and my goal is to not um make a video once a month anymore and to make one every week for you guys um because every time i do open my computer to do my homework trust me i do see you guys um liking commenting subscribing and you guys i really do love and appreciate you guys for supporting me so of course i need to do my end and keep making videos for y'all okay so enough of that um i'm gonna start off with the pros i'm gonna do three pros and three cons we're gonna start off good with the pros and then we're going to go into the cons okay so let's get to it enough of my my rant okay so my first pro of working as a bottle girl um slash bartender is of course what everybody want cash money money quick and the reason i start off with this as the first pro is because most of the time that's what people like start working in the club for um if you have a regular job i don't know what a regular job is but you, if you have any other job like my other job where you know you work during the day and you make a you make a check but you only make that check you only get that um check in your account um every two weeks that's usually what it is and of course you know they always take out mad taxes we're supposed to if you work in the club um that's why i became a bartender one you're making that money in your hand every time somebody tips you and two you're making that money every night or every shift every event that you work and you ain't even got to go to the bank when you get paid to take out the money is already in your hand girl and you don't even get taxed so that is the pro but also with that pro um being in that industry where you're making quick fast money you also need to know definitely and learn how to finance your money i did have to learn that for myself because y'all i remember I was in my undergrad of college and I was making that cash money and when I tell y'all it was gone within the next 24 hours like I would make my money one night and be like all right y'all we going to happy hour um the next day let's go to happy hour again let's go to Sephora this weekend you don't want to leave the club and have nothing to show for other than the material things that you got so save your money learn how to spend it wisely my second pro um for working as a bottle girl or bartender is really networking and i feel like a lot of people don't think about this but i personally love networking because you never know who you can meet and where you're going to meet them um for instance i worked this event this past weekend for more memorial day weekend it was a grand opening for a pretty like popular salon in philadelphia and i met so many like great people so many people that were out here doing their things so ambitious i met one of the most popular photographers in the in the country and i was so hyped y'all because i wanted to meet him for a long time but anyway but yeah you never know like who you're going to meet what connections you can make and definitely when you're networking like you might be there to make money but make sure you keep a smile on your face and a nice attitude because a great personality can take you a long way um so definitely networking is number two and number three um of my pro about being a bartender or a bottle girl what was my 
Oh, yeah, my third, my third one, and this is another important one, is you learn how to be a go-getter. I always thought that, for the most part, I was a pretty good hustler. Um, but once I got out of school, well, now I'm back in school, but once I um, got a job where I was working full-time, and then, you know, I was doing the bottle girl bartender, like, I was making pretty good money. And I was starting to get a little bit complacent. Like, in a way, I kind of wasn't networking with these um, different amount of people that I could to get extra gigs because I got complacent. Like, I could afford my life, pay my bills, and I could buy some things for myself here and there. But then, you know, you start working in the club and you see girls that's making a lot. You know, you learn how to hustle. So it definitely, you know, it teaches you how to be a go-getter. You can apply that to other aspects in your life to fulfill and know that you can succeed in whatever you want to do. So that was my three pros. The three cons, and these were the most important ones, um, were one, I hate bad management. Um, it's one thing to have an event or have a club and the people just aren't feeling the vibe. But when you have bad management, when you go to work in the event and the club work is shift and you don't know the prices of nothing, you don't know how they want to run their stuff, they seem like they can't get their stuff together, it ruins your experience before it even starts. Like, and that's why I feel like a lot of the clubs um, in Philly or, yeah, in Philly that now that I'm here don't make it long because they don't know how to run a business. Like, to me, if I'm a steady, like bartender in the club i will give you a week if you can't get your management together in a week i'm out if i work if i guess bartending the event and y'all running around like a chicken like a, a like a chicken with your head cut off y'all can't get your stuff together you're not giving me no minimum direction don't call me ever again because i feel like one how can you run the club and you can't run the club and then two, y'all just wasted my time. And if I feel like my time is wasted, I'm not, I'm not doing it again. And second, I think I'm on my second one. My second con um, is rude coworkers. And I'm not the person, honestly, you guys, I'm very shy and um, I'm pretty quiet into myself a lot of the time. Like, I'm not the person who's going to go into work. I don't really got to be buddy-buddy with you because I come to work to do a job, to make money, and to leave with no problems. However, it does not hurt to be cordial. It does not hurt to be nice. It does not hurt or cost you anything to speak like i did this event about two three weeks ago now and i got there i got in the dressing room first before the girl that i was working with came and i knew who she was because she followed me on instagram but i knew who she was and when she walked in the dressing room i was like oh hey girl and she did not say anything now moral of the story she did turn out my nose always runs when i make these videos i think i'm allergic to something um, she did turn out to be very nice and very cool. However, you couldn't speak when you came in. Like, it really don't hurt to speak. Especially if y'all know that some way your form, regardless if you're making your own money that y'all have to work together, just speak. Be nice because, one, if y'all can work together and work together well, y'all probably going to tag team and make way more money until your shift is going to go so much more better. And then my last con, number three, is late night, early mornings. And that one, I really don't know how you get around that. Really, to me, you just have to do the best with what you have. Um, because most of the people around me, they don't really have, like, jobs where they work at night. Especially, like, with me, when I started working in the club, when I was doing All-Star Weekend, I would go to work. I would have to be there at 1030. I wouldn't get off until 630 in the morning. And then I had class at 10 a.m. So, you know, you get you get tired. Like, it wears on your body a little bit, to be honest. But, you know, if that's something you gonna you want to do, it's pros and cons of everything. The reason I haven't stopped, the reason I continue to do it, um, I changed the way I go about things now, is because, one, my cons haven't, have, have not outweighed my pros. But best believe, the day that I'm not happy doing something is the day I won't be doing it anymore. Um, so those are my little pros and cons. I'm going to insert some little clips, videos somewhere of 
me like working and stuff so y'all could see what i'll be wearing and what i'll be doing um <laughs> my next video i think i'm going to do one other series of what i bring um to work depending on the event what i wear depending on the event and then i'm gonna do one of my worst work experience and the best work experience but again i hope you guys like this video like comment subscribe um please comment about like what you guys's pros and cons are like i definitely would like to hear about that and like how you manage and deal with the cons so thank you again for watching again guys y'all know i always wear mocha hantis tresses hair i will put it below or i'll put it somewhere in the comments and again like comment subscribe and follow me on instagram at sincerely Brittany. thank you guys again for all the love and support i'll see you guys next guys <laughs> i'll see you guys next time Bye.